Oh yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Brownovich is here out today with all the guys. Even got Zach came down today. It's been a while, man. Yeah, yeah it has. But I'm glad to have you here. Today we are in beautiful Florida, aren't we? Yep. And we're doing some uh, metal detecting, shark teeth shark hunting, teeth all types of stuff. Hey, check this out. I already found a shark's tooth. Britain's oh, yeah. already ahead. Hold on, I can't even find man, it. Man, it's, 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 it's a tiny little <laughs> thing, It's so huh? small. Hold on. This it's so big, you can't find it in his Watch bag. This is what we got to beat right here. This sets yeah, the bar. Five hours later. Yeah, you were just looking around in the parking lot here? Yep, just looking around the parking lot. And look at this monster. <laughs> Man. Wow. Can you see they're really big or you, you're just a giant? Can you zoom in <laughs> enough? Yeah, you see. Yeah, I don't know what my GoPro <laughs> focus is, but Man, we're gonna wow. get out here, guys. Hopefully, find some cool treasure, clean up any trash we find. So let's get out there and have some fun. Look, oh big yeah! Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me on another scuba diving adventure. Today, I am down in Venice Beach, Florida, which is known as the shark teeth capital of the world. And today, I'm searching for shark teeth near the shoreline. But if you want to check out my last video, you can see I went scuba diving farther out in the coast. I went 30 feet down hunting for massive megalodon teeth. And be sure to check out that video after this one in the description below. You ready, Brendan? No, I'm not ready, no. <laughs> Adam's ready, look at him. And we dive right into the beautiful Florida ocean today. This water is crystal clear, at least compared to the rivers I normally dive in. But I'm just swimming around and I found this cool shell and I haven't done a lot of shark teeth hunting, so I've heard to look around rock formations because the teeth can get trapped around the rocks. So that's kind of my strategy. But here's a bottle cap, here's a rope. There's also a lot more trash than I was expecting to find. It is a very popular beach though. This was definitely an unexpected find. I found like a stool, maybe for someone to sit and look for shark's teeth. <laughs> I don't know, but that was an interesting find. I also found this umbrella holder. So I'm not quite sure what type of animal this goes to, but I found some bones that had not been in there very long. And so I kept diving around a little bit more, and I found this snorkel and some other garbage. Of course, I always try to clean up as much trash as possible. And just like that, I found my first shark tooth. And yeah, it's a little guy, it's a small one, but hey, that is still a really cool find. I will take it. I've been down a little while. I found one little tooth in some other sunglasses and stuff, and now I think everybody's going out down this way. But there's a lot of people out here, and lots of teeth to be found, so we're gonna keep on looking. <laughs> oh, yeah. So after finding that first shark tooth, I was pretty much hooked. So I kept searching harder, now that I kind of know what I'm looking for more so, and what it looks like underwater. But I found this bottle, Dove around a little bit more, found a hat. I know there's more shark teeth out here, I just gotta find them. And here Zach actually found a crab that was hiding in this little crevice. So at this point, my treasure bag was getting pretty full of garbage, which is okay with me because I'm cleaning up the water one piece of litter at a time. 
And I also came across this fishing line and weight, which I always try to clean these up and get these out of the way because these can be very dangerous when you're scuba diving. They can get caught and tangled around your equipment and your hoses, so it's always good to get those cleaned up. Check out this shell. This was like a double shell. <laughs> Just like that, I got my next shark tooth. I couldn't yell because I had my full face mask on, but here I was just trying to tell the rest of the boys that I had four shark teeth that I found. And then I found this perfect necklace size sand dollar. And I think the guys are starting to head back to the truck at this point, so it's about time that I head back myself. Alright guys, get out of the water. Starting to find a few teeth right at the end there, but I think we're gonna go try to find a new spot. I <laughs> won't we'll walk back up to the truck now. Definitely a lot of people out here. Alright guys, we just got out of the water and got back to the truck, and it's pretty hot today, as you can tell. I might be getting a little bit of sunburn, but I got all my finds from the day laid out here on my truck. So as you can see, there's actually more trash than I was expecting. Got some like umbrella sand things and a little snorkel. Uh, I think Johnny actually found that hat, but I took that and a uh, little shoe, you know, an old can. This is like, what is it, old Budweiser can. That thing's, if you guys know how old that is, let me know in the comments. It definitely looks like it's got some age. I found this cool purple shell. It actually might be part of an animal, but I, I tried to save that. It kind of broke apart. Found three pairs of sunglasses, so that was cool. Those are just sitting right on top, floating around. I thought I had four, actually, but I might have lost one. And I got four cool shells, and... I didn't want to take too many shells, but I just grabbed a few that I thought were pretty. And I also found this uh, little sand dollar. That'd be like a perfect for a necklace. So look at that. It's perfect size. And I did manage to find four shark teeth. So that is awesome. I mean, they're pretty small. I don't even think an inch, maybe half inch, three quarters of an inch. That one's a little baby. They look like a few different types. I mean, those, I don't know. If you guys know what types of sharks those come from, leave me a comment as well this one's got a little curve to it so i think that's it from a different part of the mouth of the shark that one's got a wider base so that was really cool i found three of these like all next to each other which was awesome so i'm really happy i could find that and also clean up a bunch of trash i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe i would really appreciate it it helps support me make more awesome videos and more content for you guys also check out my buddies channels in the description below and give them a subscribe if you want to see some of their perspective of the day i hope you guys enjoyed watching i will see you all in the next adventure oh yeah